WOKB, Winter Garden Orlando. Good day, family. Welcome to The Story. Welcome back, I should say, to The Story. This is your girl, Queenie, live in the studio. Praise be to God. Thank you all for your prayers. My final vocal cord surgery went very well, and it was a success, as you can hear. Praise God. And although, you know, I still got some challenges, and Glenn is still laughing at me in, this, in the booth there with my neck and stuff. Got to have MRI and stuff next week. I'm going to share this story because Glenn is just not going to let it go. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to share it. I'm going <laughs> to share it. Uh, family, I went out prematurely because I hurt my back and my neck. And <laughs> I'm going to sh- see Glenn's already laughing. What happened was I am physically challenged. I don't want to say handicap. I'm physically challenged. So I'm sitting on a stool in my closet trying to get some shoes out of the bottom of the closet where my long hanging clothes are. And yes, like most women, I have a lot of clothes. Heavy clothes. And the closet detached from the wall and fell on my head. (laughs) My head and neck. It's okay. (laughs) <laughs> You're making me laugh. Who came and got you out there? And about 50 pair of shoes <laughs> tumbled on my back. So I ended up in the Ooh, emergency room. I'm sorry. And see, that's that's the, not the funny part. I know, but, but just I, you the just give me a visual. The yes. idea, I know. What you what were you picking out, Queenie? I was trying to get <laughs> I was trying to get these hot purple slides out of the bottom of the closet <laughs> to wear to church. I had to sing that night, oh, and Jesus. I I missed everything. I missed everything. Needless to say, because I ended up in the emergency room. So, thus, I ended up going out earlier than I had anticipated, because you know the next week I was having surgery on my vocal cords. So, family, I'm back. Praise God, I'm back. I'm glad to be back. And I I missed you all. I pray that you all miss me too, because I really, really did. And I'm. <laughs> Having some challenges with my neck and some migraine headaches. I and missed you. That. Thank you, Glenn. I really did. I, I did. appreciate I that. You. But, you know, I know that God is able and he will at his appointed time. And everything is going to be fine. Mm. I just keep pressing forward. Uh-huh. Keep my eyes on Jesus. And I know he'll take care of the rest from there. So I'm mm. not worried. Amen. But I pray that all of you had a great weekend. I did. I got a lot of rest because, like I said, I'm still coming off of surgery. So I got a lot of rest, but last night I have to share with you all, I attended the inaugural taping of a new TV show coming out called Club Inspire. And it was great. It really, really, it was great. It's hosted by Pastor Bridget Norvell. You know, she's on right here at WOKB on Wednesdays with Women, Wisdom, and the Word. She is the host of this new show that's coming out. And it's a platform for Christian indie artists, music you know, musicians, poets, authors, and more to introduce their band, their brand. And I'm saying brand because these days we're not just artists. We have full brands now. So, And why not? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And this is um, an outlet for us as indie artists to connect and um, with one another and with the rest of the world. So Club Inspired TV show is produced by Vincent Polite and Frank Frazier. So shout out to those gentlemen for an awesome, awesome job last night. We were at the Taste Restaurant. I don't know if you've ever been there, Glenn, but it is tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. The food is delicious. Over there in College Park. Yes. Good. My very first time there, and I was full up to the back of my eyeball. What you call it, an eclectic menu. Yes. Very creative. Absolutely. You have and to it's say, what's all this? good. Yes. And then when you, when it comes to your table, you're like, oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The, um, one of the other ministers that went with me, Minister Crystal, shout out to her. She's just getting off work. She went with me and she said she ordered curry chicken and they brought her jerk chicken and she tasted it. She said, oh, that's good. And okay. she didn't even send it back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. She just went ahead with her meal. So, But we really had a great, great time last night. And the food, I'm telling you, was great. So if you ever have a chance, get by Taste Restaurant. You will not be disappointed. 
I pray that you started this day off with a focus on God and that you allow him to lead you according to his will and not your own. Please, I can't stress it enough. Don't allow distractions to get you off track. Amen. Follow God. Just follow him. Amen. You can't go wrong. Don't. Amen. I said on Sunday, I said, I'm not going to look left or right because I don't want to get off track. <laughs> I'm just going to keep my head, you know, straight ahead. But thank you for being a part of the story. We're going to have some awesome giveaways today. Um, I've got some William McDowell CDs. I've got some. What's he doing this week? He's got his live DVD recording coming up on Friday. Mm -hmm. So some awesome, yeah. awesome artists are going to be in River of Life's own. Yes. Very own. Yes, yes. William McDowell. Yes. And he's got he's got a, a arm a arsenal. Okay. An arsenal, <laughs> I'm going to say, of uh, people coming with him. And I'm going to share a little bit more about that later. But you can definitely experience it live this Friday, Faith Assembly. That's all I'm going to say about it right now. I'll save it for our community announcements. Now, <laughs> and I'll you, give you all the details. Queenie, you know what excited me when you came in? What? Round table. Round you table. You said round table. Listen, we're known for it on the story. Yes. Our, our listeners love the round table. You so said round table. I, I came in. I said, I'm what coming you back have? in. I'm, Listen, I, what? this is going to be probably one of our more controversial virtual ones uh -oh. if people aren't afraid to speak on it. You're using the C word. Yes. Because today we're going to talk about holy hip hop and its impact in the church. Because you know, all right, I see holy, what said. Okay. holy hip hop is appreciated by some, is tolerated by others, and is ridiculed in the church by most. So I think it's something that we need to talk about because I don't know how many churches and if there's any pastors out there that allow holy hip hop like during their morning service. I want you to call us 407 894 1680 and share that with us. Because it's important that we talk about it. Because that culture is like taboo. Even on the Christian side, it still has an aura of taboo. So I want to talk about it. So make sure you keep it locked right here. Because we're going to have our Holy Hip Hop Roundtable. First time ever. Also, today, we're going to feature some music by Holy Hip Hop artists. Is that why the first song that I have queued up is Die Like a Gangster? Die Like a Gangster. What? Die Like a Gangster. Ain't that something? Yeah. Now, when you hear that <laughs> title, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to say if it's Christian <laughs> or circular. I just want you to listen to it, and then you be the judge. Okay. And then you call in and tell us what you think about it. All right. Be sure to visit our website, thestoryradioshow.com, and make sure you follow Queenie Sings on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, people, it's Queenie with an I, no E. Queenie Sings, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You Let's ready? Let's get into it. <laughs> okay. Die like a gangster. Robin shot and killed while walking yeah, along the sidewalk outside like the Seminole like Garden Apartments. He went to the two men wearing red bandanas, robbed him uh, and the murder victim, Akeem like Rahman. The police took away the three men in handcuffs hours later. The mother of one of those men, seen in this video, was treated at the scene by paramedics and taken to the hospital. You ain't got to die like a gangster. You ain't got to die like a gangster. Live your life trying to front for them gangsta But in a minute for a dollar they'll bang ya Leave you slump down all for that paper Come on me you ain't gotta die like a gangsta Live your life trying to front for them gangsta But in a minute for a dollar they'll bang ya Leave you slump down all for that paper Homie, you ain't got to die. I see you on the block. See you. you doing your thing. Yeah. Making cheddar, selling dope, slinging hurricane. Okay. Trying to okay. come up on that paper, you making it rain. rain. But unlike Obama, you don't want to change. Nope. You got that hood wealth, and they calling your name. Uh -huh. And you don't fear death, because you'll die for the fame. You and you gon' get it how you live, that's just how you pain. But it's a darn shame yeah. that you stuck in the game. Okay. You think I'm pretty lame, no. but I done seen a mother face down. Seeking the comfort of others okay. But she don't get it cause she already seeing his brothers nope. Dumped out on the corner chasing one another yeah. With one gunshot, <laughs> death takes another But you don't think about that when you undercover nope. Ragged up, you ain't thinking about your baby's mother Until you hear that last clap, homie, you, you ain't got to die like a gangster Live yeah. your life trying to front for them gangsters But yeah. in a minute for a dollar they'll bang ya yeah. Yeah. You slump down all for that paper Homie, you ain't gotta die like a gangster. Live your 
life trying to front for them gangsta But in a minute for a dollar they'll bang ya yeah. Leave you slumped down all for that paper Homie, you ain't gotta die Look at here, youngin' I ain't preaching, I'm teaching. Trying to get you not to fall in the ways of them heathen Cause you can lose your life tonight before dinner this evening Running with thugs that be constantly banging and creeping. I know you think you grinding Cause you shining with diamonds You got that soul glow They look up and you blind them But when they come through, homie, what you gon' do? When you caught up and surrounded by them boys in blue Or them boys in black, I call them cardiac Cause they don't mess around when it's time to attack They'll slam you harder than a rock on a wrestling mat And go ahead, test, and they'll put you to rest And when you hear that sentence, you'll be grabbing your chest Fall down crying, leaving the courtroom a mess I'm trying to give you truth, not just lying to boo So listen up, so this story don't happen you ain't gonna die like a gangster Live your life trying to front for them gangsters But in a minute for a dollar they'll bang ya yeah. you slump down all for that paper Homie, you ain't gotta die like a gangster. Live yeah. your life trying to front for them gangsters. But yeah. in a minute for a dollar, they'll bang ya. Yeah. Leave you slump down all for that paper. Homie, Listen, you ain't gotta die. I hope you hear these words Listen, that the spirit is giving. Yeah. And walk away from death knowing your sins is forgiven. Okay. He wants to see you in his kingdom, not stuck in a prison. No. There's only life or death. True. So make a decision. Yeah. He was beaten and bruised, but the sun he is risen. Yeah. And this is not a fantasy, this is not a religion. It's the reason I'm living I was stuck in a prison When he gave me a vision So I made a provision To teach truth While I follow a greater commission So I'm talking to you Hoping you hearing my view Praying hard You don't fall in the hands of a fool But you don't realize That his only son died for you But you gotta believe In the love that he's given And trust your who And don't follow the son of perdition I hope this makes a difference In you changing your life It leads you to the father And his laws of life You don't have to die like a gang. Whether you live in prison for the rest of your life. Isn't that something? Homie, you end up in the grave. Homie, you ain't gotta die like a gangster. Go on, Glenn. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to die like a gangster. You don't. You don't have to okay. die in the world. You don't. You well, don't. I get it now. Die like a gangster. Yes, I yes. Because when you first hear the they title. Minister. Yes, when you first hear the title, you think it's yeah. a worldly kind of thing, but. He's talking about you don't have to die like a gangster. Yeah. You can, you can die like a soldier in the army of the Lord. Good stuff. Which is really, really good. So it's refreshing. It, it is was. refreshing. I come out of the hip-hop world, so I love good music. I tell you guys that all the time. You're listening to The Story with Queenie live in the studio. Yes, this is not a figment of your imagination. I'm back. She's back. Urban Empowerment and Inspiration Station, Gospel 1680. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. We're going to get into our roundtable. I'm just excited. I, I, I can't express it any better than that. Not just because my homie is on the phone from New Jersey, but I'm just excited to talk about this topic. Is home team on the phone? Yeah, my home team's on the phone. You know. Good stuff. You know, I always go back a little <laughs> bit and, you know, pull somebody from home to come on the air with me. <laughs> That's what's up. I do that all the time. But uh, this is our monthly roundtable, and we're talking about holy hip-hop and its impact in the church and the world. And today's panelists include, uh, we're going to start with our in-studio guest first. Um, from Originally, he is a native of Jacksonville, Florida. He now lives here in Orlando. He is one half of the awesome husband and wife duo, Ikad. Jabir, a.k.a. Nai. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Say hello. Hello, everybody. everybody. Hello. And also on the phone with us, joining us from New Jerusalem. That's what we call New Jersey. New Jerusalem is in the house. There you go. Uh, we have fantastic talent coming from a different perspective um, in his game, mm-hmm. I'm meaning. And uh, he's the son of a lifelong drummer in the church. He is the grandson of Miss Lottie Cross, who, uh, before her demise, she sang with the Tri-State Mass Choir, which is a popular, popular choir, um, 
to, you know, those of you who follow choirs. Mm -hmm. Um, And he's also the nephew of Teddy Cross, who is of the legendary gospel keynotes. Okay. Oh, ne- oh, Glenn said, oh, a high moment in the studio. But put your hands together, family, and welcome Joe Cross. <laughs> Joe, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, baby. I'm here. Thank you for joining us today, both of you. I really appreciate it. Glenn will be chiming in from time to time. Um, so if you hear a voice just come out of thin air, right. that's Glenn joining <laughs> us on the line. I'm so glad you guys could be here with me today. This is a subject that's dear to my heart. Like I said, I came out of a hip-hop background myself. Used to be that female in C. Right, right. It wasn't that many of us. Right, yeah. It wasn't that many of us. You know, not many of us was willing to dive into that realm because it's a male-dominated world, and it still is. Yeah. And it still is even on the Christian side. Yeah, even on the Christian side. Because I have reached out to so many females and when I say so many, it's like five, because <laughs> that's all I really could find. But I, I even reached out to Jay, and I couldn't even get her wow. to be a part of this summit so that they can share their view from a female perspective. But I represent. Yeah. You know, I represent, even though when I did hip-hop, I was in a circular world. I never did it as a Christian artist. I only sang as a Christian artist. Right. But my first question to you all is, how is how are you received by your local church? Ooh, you want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, well, um, it's it's really um, with me as far as when I started back in in two thousand eight when I switched over from the secular the path. Um, it wasn't wasn't well received, you know. Okay. It was it was like you know I was I had this talent and I kind of at the time I was um, with a different ministry than I am now. But it it was a ministry of singing and a ministry right. of, of worship, a very worship laden ministry and okay. just hip hop or rap, you know, didn't fit the mold. Okay. So I was actually a little scared to even come out and say that this is what really? was in me. Yeah. Okay. So uh it was funny, uh I recorded a song called uh, Shake It Off and I just I was the um engineer for the audio there. Okay. So one day after service I just put it on cuz we had some some kids and I just let it play and the pastor was like, "Wow, I didn't know you had that gift." Um so but after that he he really received it and and he he took it and pushed me to do more. Okay. And um and that but you know at first it Did was, he ever allow you to come on Sunday morning service? No, no. Okay. No, that ain't happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. at, at, Just at, at, as, at that church, you know, the way we were the, the way they were set up, it was very worship laden and uh but you know they would have special events or side events to okay. to to give us opportunity to uh, do the music, but as far as coming in front on a Sunday morning and, and, and being able to minister mm-hmm. in the gift that I have, I just I haven't been in a ministry that does that yet. You know, okay, um, I've seen okay. I've seen them. I know they okay. are out there, it's just right? Not me, right. You know, so to date, you haven't been able to be embraced in that manner yet. No, not yet. Okay, no. well, Joe, how about you up there? Are you still at Perfecting Church? Yeah, you know, I'm at okay. the Pacific, okay. man, Pastor Kevin Brown doing his thing. You know, but, you know, my experience is a little different, man, because, you know, Jersey is so hip-hop, man. So it's like, you know, for me, you know, I've been embraced, you okay. know, very well. Um, actually, you know, speaking of Sunday morning service, I just did, I just led the uh, praise and worship at uh, Macedonia Baptist Church. Oh, you know, wow. wow. Yeah. And that's me, Pastor Evans. There. Yeah, they had me, not, yeah, that's, that's actually Pastor Rodney Roller. Oh, Rodney Roller. Okay, Macedonia. I'm sorry. So, yeah, Go ahead. They had, they, they had me lead the praise and worship with hip hop because, you know, you know they, they understand that the hip hop wow. culture is what the youth, you know, God doesn't communicate with us the way he communicated with David, the way he communicated with Moses, the way he communicated with Elijah right. Right. And, and this generation. So he communicates with the youth through hip hop. Right. And so, you know, a lot of churches in Jersey, they understand that. So them embracing the hip hop man okay. like God has really got a great movement going on right now in Jersey so, so you get a lot of Sunday in. morning gigs <laughs> yeah so okay. yeah they had me you know they had me um lead the hip hop lead the service Sunday morning with hip hop okay man and it was it was awesome because what I did was I had a couple of my background singers open up with like traditional praise and worship and then you know I went into my set and I'm telling you like the youth 
they, you know, they went crazy, man. Like, you know, and the thing that was a blessing to me was they weren't going crazy for me. They were going crazy for Jesus. Right, and, right. And what, and what, what God is doing now with hip-hop, with the youth, with the hip-hop culture, man, because, you know, it doesn't matter what what the people that are, are, are doing hip-hop that have grasped them with the Jay-Z's and all them. It doesn't matter with that, man. God can use anything. Yeah. To, because God is the creator of all things. Right. So, and I'm seeing that. And right. I see how I see how God is using what I'm doing and using what all of us are doing in the hip-hop culture to embrace the youth. And, you know, God gave me something this morning just showing me how hip-hop, Christian hip-hop, is going to save this generation right mm. now. That's very interesting because w one of the questions that I have here is about, you know, should the church alter their approach so that they can reach that hip hop community? Because that generation will be lost right, right. if we're not able to communicate with them in a language that they really can understand and relate to. Yeah, well, I, I believe that, you know, that the alter their the way they go after the youth is, is definitely necessary i mean in anything just in you know we see technology mm -hmm. you know most mm -hmm. things adapt you know and they change to uh deal with the increases of of brain power and, and different ways of thinking and uh, i think with the church uh if we give them an opportunity to actually um, see that culture from the where it is mm -hmm. and and it's a large culture as far as Christian rap is really growing I mean you got artists that are, are selling you know millions of dollars worth of, of music right. so it's it is growing from what it was just 10 years ago I mean just when I started back in 2008 it was a lot smaller than it is now and I think a lot of the churches that have embraced it have mm -hmm. seen a, a, a larger growth in their youth ministry okay. and a, in their youth membership and it's just because it gives them an element um, that they can to relate to them. Right. You know, it comes right. to being relate, relating. Right. And, and right. In, even in relationships or different things that we use the, the scriptures to relate to people, we still have to come down to their level and relate to them. And if you're talking about the youth of this time period, um, hip hop is uh, the number one, you know, media outlet that you see now that's being embraced by the youth, not even not just urban youth, right. uh, but also all youth, you know, right. you know, right. even those that are in the mountains are listening to the hip hop music and, mm -hmm. and um, the Caucasians and, and African Americans are all embracing that that culture. So I think that um, a lot of the ministries have to um, think about adapting or, or they're going to lose out on the youth in their area. Well, Joe, let me pose this question to you. How right. can, how, what, what, let me switch it, not to how can. What are some of the things that you're doing to change the mindset of the Christian community? Because sometimes well, they can well, be a little closed-minded to it. Well, see, the thing that I think that attracts the youth to me is that I'm not, I'm not religious at all. Okay. You know, my thing is, like, if you see Joe Cross on stage, the presentation is hip-hop. Right. You know, yeah, I wear a big chain, a big watch, you know what I mean, a bracelet, all that. Like, my thing is, like, and it's not that that is who I am, but it's the byproduct of the blessing of what Christ has laid on top of me. You okay. know, so my thing is, like, I'm hip-hop. Like, it's my culture. Right. Yes, but the foundation is Jesus Christ. Okay. And it's not that it comes from anything secular. It comes from my love of the Lord. And, you know, what, what I try to instill in the youth in my community, because uh, you, you're from Jersey, so you know I'm from Camden. Yeah, yeah. So Camden is the worst hood in America, pretty much, you right. know, besides Detroit and a couple other cities. But, you know, Camden is pretty bad. So, like, my thing is, like, look, like, you know, you can still be fly. You can still be fresh and serve God. Like, you know, God never said that you had to walk around like a peasant. Right. God never said that you had to walk around looking broke. Like, right. you know, God asks you to keep him first. And that's everything right. else will be the byproduct of that's that. That's right. That's right. So that's what I try to make sure that these kids understand that, you know, yeah, you see me. Yeah, I got earrings on. I got a fitted hat, all that. But it's a byproduct of who I am. It's not who I am. Right. Who right. I am is a child of the most high God. But the byproduct of it is because I'm serving God and I seek him daily, I can have the things that I want. Mm -hmm. But the things that I need are of him. Right, right. Okay, well, you're listening to The Story with Queenie. We're live in studio today on your Urban Empowerment and Inspiration Station, Gospel 1680. Let's get into Joe Cross featuring Chosen. Save. i 
devil trying to find me Cause I'm sick, nothing to worry about Satan get behind me Cause I'm sick, ain't gonna worry about Temptation all around me Cause I'm sick, ain't gonna worry about The world is behind me Standing right in the spot where the Roman soldiers slept Where the stone got cracked and the light was soon to set And the breath got breathed back in the Christ's chest Satan could not change that, he was crucified Pierced in the side and he still came back The world still needs something to watch My chain got hang time like D-Wade dumped in the box Squid foes on stuck in my watch It's so heavy a dump truck, it's gotta put him back in the box We was down, now we back on the top Cause God's taking the game back from crack selling, packing the clock one day they won't ask me to stop Since Christ is, I am Gonna break free like a jack in a box You can take your minds back to the block But Joe ain't going nowhere My feet is attached to the rock Ain't gonna worry about The devil trying to find me Cause I'm sick Nothing to worry about Satan get behind me Cause I'm sick Ain't gonna worry about Temptation all around me Cause I'm sick Ain't gonna worry about the world is behind me So you can bring your guns, knives, and try to Come get on. me I'm a tight this made iron cause Christ is with me And if the world sentenced me to my death Cash your stones watch they bounce on my chest Cause I ain't finished yet I run with Moses and gang bang with Jesus on me Facing demons in hell fire cause Jesus on me After I sleep at the end of my life I'ma rise from the grave like Christ And take my first right It's a shame that we still got believers claiming Statues of Mary and false bitches of Jesus hanging If you ain't got a pole of Devil trying to find me Cause I'm sick Nothing to worry about Satan get behind me Cause I'm sick Ain't gonna worry about Nice groove, right? Nice groove, nice groove That's Joe Cross and Sadie featuring Chosen you're listening to the story with your girl Queenie live in studio right here on your urban empowerment and inspiration station gospel 1680 now we got a pause for our cause for our community announcement says that continues to play in the background but first I have to thank my sp- my sponsors and supporters because I did not do it at the lead of the show so let me make sure I get my acknowledgments and to the people that's helping to keep me on the air there you go. inspiration music group they do graphic design and artist development New offices located at 1531 Mercy Drive, Orlando, Florida. You can give us a call at 407-900-3144. Heart of Mercy Community Church, the Grace Medical Partner for the Pine Hills area. 1531 Mercy Drive, Orlando, Florida. The pastor there is none other than Senior Pastor William Andrews. All dialed up salon and stores. Quality entertainment and get the 411. Amen. Thank you to all my sponsors. A quick announcement, UrbanOrlando.com. Visit it within the next 30 days if you are a business owner, and you'll get a free business listing on their website. Again, that's UrbanOrlando.com. As I understand it, they get over 10,000 hits per month. So I think it would be a great place to connect with if you're a small business and you're looking to expand your customer base. Awesome, awesome website to connect with. Fit and Healthy Club, a lifestyle change for the mind, body, and soul, meets every Wednesday at 5 p.m. for Gospel Size at Heart of Mercy Community Church, 1531 Mercy Drive, Orlando, Florida. On Saturdays at 8 a.m., Walk and Worship is at Barnett Park, and we meet near the gym in the offices. Right there, if you like more information on this, call 407-900-3144. Mercy Drive Mass Choir will be resuming their rehearsals in July. The second week of July, we're preparing to record our first album and we're looking for new members. So please give us a call so we can set up your uh, audition today, 407-900-3144. Mary Kay Clearance Sale. So all of my beautiful women out there who wear Mary Kay, I'm having a clearance sale. On Friday, June 29th and Saturday, 6.30 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. At the All Dialed Up Salon and Stores located at 3228 West State Road, 426. That's the Aloma exit off of 417 in Oviedo, Florida. 50% off all items in stock. 50% off. 25% off all 
items I need to order. You'll get 25% off of that. But if it's in stock, you're walking out the door with it, 50% off. For more information, give me a call on my cell phone, 609-784-3538. Don't delay because the sale's not going to last forever. I'm only doing it for the two days. That is it. If you missed that deadline, you missed the sale. Gospel Music Workshop of America Orlando Chapter presents the Person of the Year Music Celebration featuring a gospel music showcase on Saturday, June the 30th, 2012 at 6 p.m. It's going to highlight original gospel music, artists in verse, gospel favorites, and a special dedication and guest artist is going to be at the Mount Olive CME Church, 745 Wood Street in Orlando, Florida. Praise the Lord! Come get your praise on this Saturday, June 30th, 2012 at 7 p.m. over at Circle of Faith Ministries, 206 North Hastings Street in Orlando, Florida. The shepherds of that house is Bishop Timothy and Pastor Cheryl Moore. Shout out to my girl, Cheryl. Love you, baby! (laughs) Also, listen, coming up, William McDowell presents a live experience. Like never before, this is his first live DVD recording. William, are you with me? I am. How are you? I'm fine, darling. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I know that you... I know. I know. I'm not going to keep you long. I promise. I'm really excited that you can take a minute to come and join us. Absolutely. You have an arsenal of, of guests coming with you. You know... I refer to them as friends because they are. Uh, Jason Nelson's going to be with us. Yes. Stephen Deidre from Anointed, Tasha Cobbs, and, and then even the band and, and singers, some people will recognize, they're all friends of mine. It's just going to be an incredible release of worship. When you gather that many worshipers together, something awesome is bound to happen. You know it is. You know it is. And this is going to be this coming Friday, June 29th, 2012 at 7 p.m. And how much it costs to come? It is absolutely free to come. Wow. I, I just, just bring your worship with you. Amen. Amen. Listen, when we get off the phone with Will, the first caller that call is going to get his his CD for free. Four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. So get ready as soon as I get off the phone with him. It's going to be this Friday at Faith Assembly, Goldenrod Campus, two thousand and eight North Goldenrod Road in Orlando, Florida three two eight zero seven. You can visit my website or his to get more information. www.williammcdowellmusic.com. Anything else you want to share with us, William? Well, I I just want to share that I'm happy to be doing this in my hometown. Amen. And, uh, I know that God is stirring something in our city. You know, we're the most visited city in the entire world. Absolutely. Uh, but I believe what's going to happen is not only are we going to have a visitation and a habitation from God uh, on this night and in the season to come, but also the sound that's released, instead of it, you know, coming to us, is going right. to be exported from us. Amen. So I think that's going to be an awesome thing. I believe the Lord wants to do something powerful in Central Florida. And so when we gather together, uh, what we're what we're doing, and the reason why we're doing it here, right. is to let the whole world get a peek at how the Lord is moving in Central Florida and yes. all around the world. Yes, yes. I am excited that this is happening because when you and I spoke at the Stellar Awards, you were in the beginning planning phase of this. Yes. I'm yes. just excited about God allowing it to come forth. Because we I, need a mighty move of God. Absolutely. We need that. Absolutely. And I believe, it, I believe it's coming. I believe it's here. It's going to be the William McDowell Presents a Live Experience Like Never Before. I'm excited. I'm excited. His first yeah. live DVD recording, people. And he thought enough of Orlando to have it right here at home. So I know tons of your family is going to be there as well. Yeah family and friends, and we just believe in God to have a, a full place full of his people, full of his presence, see something powerful happen. That's right. And it's free. It's free. It's free. We love Absolutely. free. We love <laughs> Absolutely. free. Absolutely. That's this Friday, June 29, 2012 at 7 p.m. Faith Assembly, Goldenrod Campus, 2008, North Goldenrod Road in Orlando, Florida, 32807. Thank you for calling in, William. Get back to rehearsal and don't work too hard. We love you for being a friend of the story. Oh, we love you guys, too. And thank you so, so much for all of your support. Oh, you're certainly welcome. And I'll be in the house on Friday. 
can't hopefully wait to I can get you. backstage and get a behind the scenes interview. And we you can know t- you will. Amen. And we'll post it up on YouTube for all the listeners so they can go and see a little bit of what's going on behind stage. I know Tasha's going to be back there just humming up something. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl, wonderful. too. It's going to be wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. We'll keep you in prayer and you do the same for us. Get back to rehearsal. Because I, t- so I promise, Tiffany, I wouldn't keep you long. I promise. <laughs> all right. It's, it's, it's all good. We thank you guys so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Listen, call in right now, 407-894-1680, if you would like a free copy of Arise by William McDowell, and it is yours as we speak. All you got to do is call us, 407-894-1680. Now we're going to get back. I was saving that announcement for last because I knew William was going to call in and that was awesome. Worked out just right. Joe, you still there? J- Joe, did we lose you? No, you ain't losing. Okay. I want to make sure. Yeah. Did you enjoy that little pop-in call from William McDowell? Oh, absolutely. I told the family, I said, I got a nice surprise coming in. Yeah. A nice surprise. Yeah. I know he's not on our theme, but we still welcome him anyway. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> oh absolutely. Well, let's get back to talking about holy hip-hop and how you're impacting the church and the community, especially that generation out there that are truly, truly hip-hop to the core right because it is a culture yeah it's not just about music it's a culture it's a way of life it's how we um some people even raise their children yep because all hip-hop is not negative right no not at all it's not, not negative if it's not if it's of god not at all you know it's it it, it people um s- still tend to have some stigmatism about it When it comes to to holy hip-hop, Christian rap, gospel rap, whatever you want to call it, I wish somebody would call in and tell me why. 407-894-16. That's what I was just getting ready to ask you. (laughs) Tell me why why, why, is there stigmatism. Tell tell us, Joe. Tell us. Tell us. I'll tell you why. Because you know why? Because it seems like one thing I'm learning and that a lot of people that don't know the Lord the way, you know, us believers know the Lord, they can see that the people of God try to make God into a man. You know what I mean? So yeah. that they can have the opinions of a man. Okay. And God doesn't have the opinions of a man. No. God's opinion is on a level that we can never conceive. You That's know? right. So God doesn't judge things the way we judge things. Because right. think about it. If God judged things the way we judge things, would he have had Jesus go through what he went through to reconcile with us? No. Not at all. <laughs> Think about all that Christ went through to reconcile with us. We yeah. won't even we won't even reconcile in our marriages. We won't yeah. even reconcile in our relationships with our friends. Yeah. We won't even reconcile in our relationships with our families, people that we love, that we grew up with. And God went through great lengths to reconcile with us. So yeah. you know, people try to uh, have God adopt our feelings, and He doesn't. His feelings are not our feelings. He says no, that. He says it in His word, but right. not your thoughts. He, in His word, He says, "Your ways are not my ways, right. exactly, and your thoughts are not my thoughts." Yep. That's exactly. what His word so, says. Yeah. So what, what we're doing, what I'm noticing, a lot of people, a lot of a lot of Christian hip hop artists, what, what they're doing, they're isolating the world. And see me, mm. you know. I would work with an artist that's not a Christian artist if he would be willing to stay within the guidelines of like, yo, listen, you know, it's got to be clean. Let's do a concept song, okay. but it's got to be clean. I will do that because but you never know. Yeah. What, well, I'm, I'm playing sorry. something now. Run This Town by Bless It. It's, it's like a, off of a mixtape. It's a mixtape thing. Right. Uh, Joe, I'm talking about the artists that use other beats like this. Yeah. Okay. You, you feeling me? Yeah, yeah, they take that. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, and the thing about that is, I hear, I hear a lot of artists say, "Oh, that was a secular, that was a secular beat, so we can't use that." No, why can't we use it? Because listen, God owns everything. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. God mm-hmm. owns now, everything. Now, Joe, there is nothing. Joe, let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you this. And and this is something, Joe. This is Glenn Allgood. I've okay. been. I'm the the radio operations manager here, at Gospel 16. I've been. I've been. Uh, I'm from the hip hop uh, generation too. Okay. Uh, born and raised in it in yeah. Miami. I grew up on the street corners of Miami playing music when, since I was 12 years old. 
and okay. and uh, I wasn't always saved real good. Amen. 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 None of us were. None of us were. So, so, of us were. so and I love music. Music yes. is my passion. Yes. Right. And and I know how the enemy can get in anywhere he can. Yes. And yes. and and Joe, you just said something. I see this, and I don't want to see it, but sometimes I see a divide coming. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see a split coming. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see it where the young people are saying, oh, since you won't accept me, we'll go over here and do this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. I hear you, brother. Can you speak on that? Well, my thing is, my thing is when you isolate people and the thing that a lot of people say is that, oh, y'all holier than thou. Oh, y'all. You know, so my thing is Christ hung with the prostitutes. (laughs) <laughs> the hustlers. The, oh, he was with them. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The Pharisees and Sadducees said to him, you know, why are you with those people? And what did he say to them? It's not the whole that need a physician, but the sick. That's right. Yeah. He said that to them. So my yeah. thing is, you know, it's, it's, I got brothers of mine that I used to deal with when I was in the world doing hip hop. Right. And they got, a, they, they got an independent label and, you know, they're doing their thing secular. And I just approached them the other day. I said, yo, listen. Why don't we do a record together? Like, you know, y'all keep it clean for me. It's a, a concept record about life, about embitterment. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of Christian hip hop artists that won't do that because they feel like, oh, they don't God want to be this. perceived yeah, as right. being yeah, soft. Be it, I, I don't. I don't this. think it has anything to do with God. And I, and I'm gonna tell you why I say that because the first thing they say when they get on the stage and win an award is, "I want to thank God." Yeah. <laughs> I want to yeah, thank God. Can, can, can I be 100% real? <laughs> yeah. Y'all, yeah. Y'all allow me to be, one thing I noticed that I feel like a lot of these Christian, Christian hip hop artists that already have a platform, uh-huh. they want to be safe and they want to stay within the confines of the fan base that they already built. And they don't want to step outside because they're afraid of offending people and they don't want to mess up, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, that that that, um, that conglomerate that they already have. Okay. But I'm not afraid of that because my thing is, I know what Jesus did. Right. And if I'm supposed to be following Christ, and I know what he did and the people that he went to, then I got to go to the same people and do the same things. Right. So I can't, I can't be safe because I know that if I go before the youth group at whatever, whatever Baptist church, they're right. going to, they're going to fill me. Right. But if I go to, um, you know, an artist showcase, that's not all Christian, right. but I'm the only Christian artist on there that maybe they're not going to be filling me like they're going to fill me at so-and-so Baptist church. Right. Right. And that's right. what people are afraid of. And you know what? I'm not afraid of that. Yeah. I'm going to go where Christ went. Well, you right. know what I mean? This I'm, I'm going to follow. You, uh, music can be genre defining. And it can be. And, yeah, it can and, be. And, yeah, and hip hop music definitely is genre defining. Yeah. How is it that in the when we take that music and put Jay Z on it and he mm-hmm. does a video. Right. Mm-hmm. And they say, you know, there's all kinds of sat- satanic signs yeah. and gang symbols yeah. and right. mm-hmm. uh, w- w- Illuminati, yeah. right? Illuminati, Illuminati, make sure I get it right. Things. Illuminati, <laughs> all of the different stuff that's in it. Allegedly. Right. <laughs> but then, you know, because he's a businessman, right. Jay-Z is, right. and, yep. and mm-hmm. Joe wants to get licensed and to use the music so he can do something for God, right. that your song is completely dismissed. Yeah. Right. Because Jay Z used that same beat, but that's a common practice in the hip hop culture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, for absolutely. multiple artists to use the same, same beat, music, same yeah. different yeah. concept. <laughs> but you know, soon as we co- cross over to the Christian side, then it's oh, he's the devil. But right. Well, right. well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you like this, my opinion on it, and you know, I want to give a shout out, you know, to my manager Tamara Simmons, you know, and I'm glad that she, you know, feels the way I feel about it. Right. Is I'm going to take back whatever I could take back for the kingdom. I don't Amen. care who you used to first. I don't care what you did with it originally. I'm yeah. taking it back for God. And right. when God get on it, it's his. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Yep. That's and, right. That's, and, that, and, that, and that's the best thing I say about it because, you know, the devil may come behind what God is doing, but he ain't originating nothing. Exactly. And he right. can only get as far as God allows him to. And I, he don't I, get if he don't give talent to nobody. Right, so the talent right. that whoever they whoever made the track, the talent that they used to make the track belongs to God. That's right. It don't matter how the devil perverted it, but if right. I get on it, I'm taking it back. Right. Amen. <laughs> and I and yeah. I believe that uh, lyrics are a big part of the music. I mean, yeah, we we talk about the instrumentals a lot, and people they may have you know un, 
memorize the the secular versions of right. it and they may hear it or something like that. But right. to me, if if your lyrics are powerful enough. Um, they'll hear those new lyrics that's over that be in it. In they it. hear Rick Ross they, because he right. will get on a mixtape <laughs> and <laughs> on exactly. somebody's song. On somebody else's song. Now, 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 now. And that's what a lot of uh, uh, people, you know, who are against uh, hip hop gospel, hip hospel, right. say. They, oh, they, they, like listen, that. listen, listen. They say <laughs> that the lyrics don't hold you. Right. Oh. I need songs that's going to take me over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends I, I, on you well, know, what are you listening for? What I, are you, and what are you like, listening what? to? <laughs> yeah. uh, that ain't no good right there. Uh, that's I, not good. I, I because we, we can say the same thing about a song. Yeah. Yep. A Absolutely. gospel song, a gospel regular, True, regular, you know, it could be traditional, yeah. contemporary, whatever. Some mm-hmm. of it just don't hold you, right? Absolutely. And I got a, I got a joint coming. Y'all gotta be looking out for. You know what I mean? And the words of the song is, I don't care what nobody say, man. I'm living, homie. <laughs> I'm living holy. I'm telling you, it don't matter. I listen. You know, people. You gonna have people. You got. You gonna have people in the church that's gonna judge you. They're gonna say. And, and the thing about it is, is that when you know us being creatures you know born of new right you know we're not we're not supposed to be a flesh we're supposed to be new, new. Right, exactly. so new creatures that's we right we can't judge we're not supposed to be judging people you know where the world judge people because the judge the world judge people off of parents off of all kind of other stuff right but the all the wrong we're stuff supposed to judge people <laughs> off of is, is knowing yeah that yes. if, if somebody says hey i'm accepting christ and he abides in me if we were perfect, then Jesus wouldn't have to go through what he went through. That's right. That's if I was right. Perfect, if, I could, if I could just live this thing right, then I wouldn't have needed the example of Jesus Christ. Exactly. But guess what? We needed that. So That's therefore, right. I'm going to mess up. So are you. Let's live this together. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yep. Well, Joe, share with the people how they can reach you and get some of your music. Oh, man. Well, listen. Um, you can catch me at uh, Reverb Nation slash Joe Cross 3G. Please. Follow me at Joe Cross 3G on Twitter. Um, you know, if you need if you need to contact me to uh, come and perform at your church, minister at your church, it's um, revitalizedmarketing.com. Um, also, uh, that's enough. They're already. not going to remember all of it. <laughs> They're not going to remember it all. Joe Cross 3G. <laughs> Joe Cross Joe 3G. 3G. You can't go wrong with that one. Yeah, Reverb Nation. Joe Cross 3G at twitter.com. Revitalized marketing at Gmail. Okay. If you can get a Tamara Simmons, you can get it me. All right. Amen. And how about you, Jabia? Uh, well, you can just simply look us up on Facebook, uh, New Jerusalem Edutainment, or you can go to our website, which is our primary area, which is njemusic.com, uh, or you can just Google Naeem. Uh, on Google and I'll pop up really quickly on there. Yeah, because you did a tour with EMI. <laughs> yeah, I was I actually did a tour with EMI on the Holy Hip Hop Gospel compilation in Atlanta, Georgia. So I, I, I'm out there nationally, over and been contacted from all over the country and different countries and everything. So it's, it's yeah, awesome. he performs at the Holy Hip Hop Awards. Is that everything. right? Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That's what's That's up. What's I up. thank you both, all three of you, for uh, joining us today. On our roundtable about holy hip hop and its impact in the church and the community. And I thank you guys for not being afraid to express the gift that God has given you right. to reach that generation. Oh, yeah. That is truly a hip hop culture. Yeah, because just as Jesus say- came for us, that was lost in the world. Right. You guys are sent for them. Exactly. Because mm-hmm. yeah. God wants all. Yep. His people, exactly. not just real, the Israelites anymore. He wants them all. Right. That's right. And real quick, I want to say a lot of people say unashamed. Yes. But trust me, I'm truly unashamed. Amen. I don't care who you are, what you do, what you did. How at Joe Cross? Amen. I'm unashamed for real. Yes. Thank you for joining me, Joe. That's my homie out in New Jersey. Yeah. Love you for for chiming in today. Listen, if you want a free CD, call us, 407-894-1680. We want to thank all of our sponsors today, Inspiration Music Group, Heart of Mercy Community Church, All Dolled Up Salon and Stores, Cosmetology School, I forgot that the first time I said it, uh, Quality Entertainment, and Get the 411. 
This is Queenie on your Urban Empowerment and Inspiration Station, Gospel 1680. Yes, I'm live in studio. I am back. I'm feeling a lot better. My last vocal surgery was a success. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I, I don't perceive going down that path again in the near future. Right. <laughs> the Story Radio Show is looking for sponsors and offer advertising plans for every budget. All you have to do is contact us today to get your business or event announcement out to more than a million listeners of WOKB. Call today, 407-900-3144, or be sure to visit us on the web at thestoryradioshow.com. This was awesome. I appreciate you. I know I called you beer last minute. <laughs> I snagged him at the event last night. I was like, yeah. hey, I love your spirit, your testimony. Oh, he said there was a paradigm shift. Yeah, it was. Ten years ago. See, see, folks, that ain't new. Yeah. The paradigm shift happens when God moves. That's right. And That's he said right. God moved in his life. And that was what, 2001? 2004. 2004. Yeah, 2004. And you shifted from secular world to. Yeah. The to, Christian side. The Christian walk. And, uh, you know, he's taken me through uh, different experiences yes. and grown me so much. And I just give him praise for everything that he's he's Since done for me. So it's been an awesome uh, journey. And he's uh, kept me and, and just shown me different things. And, and be, you know what? It's just being able to have him in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You know, the Holy yes. Spirit is uh, one of the things I, I, I really hold on to in my, my scripture and understanding the word is um, being a person that is able to uh, decipher, you know, individuals and just being able to see the mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. nature of people. Right. And, uh, you know, that, like you said, you saw my spirit. I saw your yes. spirit the same yes. way. And that's something yes. I didn't have before. And it, it's it's so supernatural, yet uh, it's real. Right. And right. I, I, I just love it. And, you know, he blesses me uh, with my lyrics for my music. And I, I, I don't force anything. Yeah. You know, I just let him come. Like, I haven't recorded anything other than what you just heard right. in the last year or so. So it was, uh, you know, a blessing to be able to, to have him lead me uh, down this path. So I, I truly enjoy being with um, the father. <laughs> so, but, you know, so that's uh, that keeps me uh, grounded. And uh, I'm just uh, so so gracious to to be able to perform and, and do the music that he has me right. to do, and uh, just keep pushing it out there for the young kids. And the Dialect of Gangsta was very close to my dear to my heart because right. when I was younger, um, one of my friends got you know shot and killed, and, and they left him in the street naked when they Jeez. found him. And um, so I just you know I wanted to put something out there to let people know, uh, especially in this generation where the gangster is the big thing now with right. all some different things that you don't have to die like that. You don't have to be, you know, sentenced to a million years in jail. <laughs> you right. know, you you can actually live a life uh, of integrity. That's right. And that's walk in right. His faith that's and die right. in holiness. That's right. So that's what that's the, the song right. was that's about. Right. And so I'm just uh, excited about the new project with my wife. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful wife who has a beautiful voice as oh, well. Oh, yeah. I, she, is, she is lovely and I adore her. And I just want to say thank you to my, my church family. Amen. And uh, so we see Messianic Mystery, uh, Ministries over in Kirkman Road. Uh, we uh, I love them and they just keep me inspired uh, to keep growing in the faith and keep growing with my music and and just pursuing to to give young people a presence, you know, right. and let them know that you know they're not forgotten. That's and, right. And we can accept you as you are, and I bring you in and let Him change you. That's it. That's it. Don't let, let him, God don't, change. That's right. Let Him. Oh, change I love you. it. So, I love it. So we're excited about everything that's going on in the next couple of years with NJE Music. Amen. And, you uh, you guys got a couple of artists on the on the label too, but yes. give me ten seconds and we're going to get to that. Okay. Naimi, are you there? Yes, I am. Thanks I have, for joining uh, good us today. How are you, Queenie? I'm good, darling. I'm good. Okay. Good morning to all of you. And I particularly uh, wanted to say something to the brother that made this. Um, you don't have to die like a gangster. Right. I think you are telling so many people's life stories. Yes. And so I thank you very much oh, thank for you. doing that. And I, and I know for a fact that a lot of young people appreciate your holy hip-hop style. Even if it's rejected by mainstream yes. in the gospel industry, you keep doing what you're doing because God is getting the glory out of it, and you are saving a lot of lives Amen. from dying Amen. like a gang. 
stuff. All Amen. Right. We okay. appreciate that, and, Naomi. And I just want you to—I just want you to remember. There's one quote in the Bible, a scripture that says, "The cornerstone, the stone that the, the builders rejected. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Mm-hmm. It ended up being a chase cornerstone. <laughs> okay, so you there keep you what go. you're doing, Amen. Awesome. Thank All you. Right, Thank this you. Is Sister Naomi. Yes, and congratulations you. to you. You won the Will McDowell CD. I did. Oh, <laughs> thank you. This is good because I can get to enjoy his music for free and get to see him live. Amen. Okay. For free. So hold on. Amen. So Glenn can get your address thank and everything you. and we'll mail that out to you. We want to give I'll a stop con- by and get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you can today because it's at my house. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> go back home okay, and get well, whatever. <laughs> all right. Glenn got my info. Okay. God good. bless you all. God bless you. And congratulations to Antoinette Jefferson. She won another a gospel uh, holy hip hop CD. We got in there. We got three of them. We'll, we, we're just going to go in the in the pack and pull one out and give it away. Yeah, is what we're going to do. But I have time for one more caller four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. If you call, you'll win a Will McDowell CD as well. So call now four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. You have another artist on your label, Eclipse. Yes, yes, uh, Eclipse. Uh, he he is a, a wonderful gentleman, and I, I met him a while back. He, me and him were actually doing secular rap together. Okay. And um, you know, we did an album as a group together, and I left the group. Oh, okay. And it was very uh, uh, awkward. Okay. For everybody, because I was a leader. You know, I was the one that kind of put the group together, and wow. I had the record label going and everything, and I just left and and. It was when it was, God calls. Yeah, when He you calls, you go. just drop everything and yes. you, you you repent. You turn the opposite direction. Right, right. And um, so He saw that, and out of all the group members, He was the first one to actually, um, you know, because He had been He go to church and everything, right, like, right. but He didn't take it serious. But He actually asked questions of me, and I would talk to Him and I would minister to Him. And He says He was still going to New York and performing in Miami. Him and right. the other guys, uh, but, but then one he, day. He, he had the paradigm shift. One day shift. he had the paradigm Amen. shift. Amen. All it takes is one. Yep. All it, it takes is one. One good leader and we'll have some great followers. That's right. Listen, I love you for listening to the story today. Make sure you tune in next week. We'll be right back here on Monday. But first, let me give you my daily bread. God wasn't able to reach man once the seed of sin harvested within us. So God did something different to reconnect with all of us. He came in the flesh of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, and he reached out to the sinners to follow him and have eternal life. Just as the Son of Man had sought to reach the lost, Christian rap, holy hip hop, gospel rap, whatever you want to call it, is reaching a generation that the traditional church cannot reach. Music is universal in every language. Sometimes we have to dare to do something different to reach someone different. I love you for listening to the story radio show on your urban empowerment and inspiration station right here on WOKB Gospel 1680. Be sure to meet me right back here next week, Monday at 1 p.m. And my guest will be none other than the stellar award nominee, Bubby Fan. And always, 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 family, remember, it's never too late to edit the tape. Tell your story today. God bless you.